Spurgeon here with RevZilla to talk to you about the Speed & Strength Six Speed Sisters jacket available at RevZilla.com. So what you're getting with the Six Speed Sisters? Two to three season functionality, think warm weather riding, spring, summer, and fall. You get nice direct venting with this, and it's going to give you a nice retro inspired style. The chassis, the body is going to be done in a denim, and then your sleeves are going to be done in cowhide leather. You have two colors to choose from. You can go with the black and brown version like Sarah's sporting right now, or you can go with the full on black version. Now as far as sizing is concerned, Sarah on my left hand side, 37 inch chest, 39 inch bust, 32 inch waist. 39 inch hips and she stands at 5 foot 8 and weighs 165 pounds. We have her in a size small. Now let's pay attention to sizing for one second. If we were to take Sarah's measurements and use speed and strength size chart, she would technically be in a large. As you can see, she's wearing the small and it's none too small on her. So keep in mind when you're looking at this, size down at least two sizes. Now sizes will range from extra small to 3XL. And again, there's those two different color versions available. Now, when we're talking about speed and strength, this is going to come in around that $250 price point, and it's going to be aimed more for you riders out there looking for something that has a little bit of a vintage look, vintage feel to it. When you want to consider the sizing for this, if you want something more petite, consider taking a look at the Tough Love. The Tough Love is going to come around at $200 price point, but it will give you a little bit more of a petite sizing than the Six Speed Sisters. And if you want to jump up the full leather construction, that's where you would take a look at the Speed Society from Speed and Strength. That's going to give you a full leather chassis as opposed to the denim construction that you're going to see with the Six Speed Sisters. Now, starting with the top and working our way through this, you have a single snap closure at the collar, and you'll notice they do a really nice job of it just embossing the snaps for each of the buttons that you're going to see working its way throughout this jacket. As we work our way through the shoulders, what you're going to notice, you do have epaulets at the shoulders, and you do have direct vending. So you do have YKK zips. If we open this up, you do have direct vending pushing in on the shoulders, giving you more of that functionality and breathability for the summer months. And throughout the entire jacket, you're going to have CE level armor, CE level one vault armor at the elbows, the shoulders, as well as the back. Now, as we take a look at the arms, what you're going to notice, and there's really no disguising this, we actually waited to shoot this jacket because we got this sample and we felt that the sample was sized large. So we waited for the production model to come out and it's the same. So just taking a look at Sarah's sleeves, you can see there's a lot of extra volume here and it's a very long sleeve length. So if you are someone that has longer arms, this is definitely a jacket that will fit your arm length more so than some of the other pieces that we're seeing from Speed and Strength. With the vest or with the vents on this, again, you have a nice bicep vent. I always like bicep vents because if you're in that rider position, it pushes airflow straight from your bicep up into your armpit, maximizing just a little bit of cool weather air where you need it most in those warmer weather months. And there is going to be a forearm adjuster here. It's going to be elasticated. So you can see once you pull this down and you ratchet it down, even as you're flexing your arm back and forth with that throttle arm, you're not going to have to worry about that causing any discomfort for you. When we get to the bottom on this, and again, you can see exactly how far down it sits on Sarah's arms. There is a nice zip closure, and you do have that leather, that leather gusset just sitting behind the zipper on that. So Sarah, let's zip that up. And let's work our way through the front. You're going to notice they do a snap over the zipper. So you have a YKK zip running down the front, snaps, close that over, giving it a real nice jean jacket style look to it. You do have scroll work working its way through the embossed leather on the top of the pockets, snap pockets, and then you do have hand warmer pockets as well to just give you that overall jean jacket style and feel. Now the bottom of the jacket, they did a really nice job of binding the seams with leather, just completing the overall look. Nice little finishing touches from Speed and Strength with the six speed sisters. Sir, strike the riding position for me. Now, as you can see here again with the arms, you do have a lot of that extra volume coming through in the arm. And as you work your way down on this, you do have a four position snap closure so you can articulate this down along your waist if you want more of that princess cut that we're seeing from this jacket. Now, what you're going to notice here is you do have a nice vent scheme. So all the airflow that's pushing through from the front, you do get that ventilation coming out the back. And that's really where we're talking about the summer months, being able to get that full three season functionality out of this. It's a little bit of a, of a hip cut. So think touring riders, maybe a little bit more in the full tuck position, but really I could see riders using this if you're in a little more of an upright seating position. Sarah, you can go ahead and face backwards for me and go ahead and pull that ponytail all the way. Thank you very much. 
leather collar to the top, working your way through. One of the things that Speed and Strength did that I do like with this is sticking with the overall theme, they masked the reflectivity. When you're looking at this from three or four feet away, you can't see that they ran a strip of reflective piping just underneath that leather stripe along the back. And then as you work your way down, again, you have those vents on either side which are nicely disguised by the denim. And when you get to the bottom, there is a single snap. So if you do want a little bit of extra room at the waist, you can undo the snap and it just gives you that nice cut right through the waist on that. Like I mentioned, there is a CE Level 1 back protector included with the Six Speed Sisters. I like the fact that Speed and Strength gives you that CE Level 1 protection in the back right from the get-go. There's no additional need to purchase another back protector unless you want to bump up to CE Level 2. Sir, you go ahead and face forward for me. I'm going to have you on snap, on zip. And again, really nicely done with the embossed snaps. YKK zip. Oh, you forgot the top one of the collar. It gets you every time. When you're opening this up, you do have the Napoleon pocket on the right-hand side, and you do have a really nice orange sateen liner, very comfortable against the skin, even if you're just wearing this with a t-shirt the way that Sarah is. And you'll notice at the bottom, there's going to be four belt loops around the base of this jacket. So you do get a nice tight closure. If you're wearing this with a pair of riding jeans, just make sure you have all four loops snapped into place, and it's going to keep the jacket down if you're in a little bit more of a tuck position, but it's also going to keep the jacket in place in the event of a crash. Sarah, you can go ahead and zip up for me. Now there's a lot of different jackets out there in speed and strength lineup and keep in mind with the six speed sisters, if you do have a little bit more length to your arms, this is going to maximize that coverage, but definitely make sure you're sizing down to get the right fit the first time. Now there's a lot of riders out there that are already using speed and strength gear. And if you want more information, make sure to click the info button on your desktop or mobile device to read other rider reviews from folks already out there using speed and strength products. If you have more questions for us, pick up the phone, give one of our gear geeks a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at this Six Speed Sisters jacket from Speed and Strength. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.